Hi there, welcome back for your math workshop for today. So we're going to be continuing working on some story problems, but we're going to work on some comparison story problems. So let's take a look first up here at the one on the board. So Kira and Jake both collect circus stickers. Jake has 35 stickers in his sticker book. Kira has 10 more stickers than Jake. So what information do we know from this problem? Well, we know that Kira and Jake both collect circus stickers, right? We know that Jake has 35 stickers. And we also know that Kira has 10 more stickers than Jake, so that means she must have more stickers than him, right? Well, what part of the problem tells us that she has more stickers than Jake? That's right, yeah, Kira has 10 more stickers than Jake, so that means she has more than he does. Okay. So sometimes I find it helpful for my brain to draw things out. So that way that what I see on the paper is the same thing that I see in my brain. So I'm gonna draw a little bar graph here for a moment just to represent the sticker collection. So we know, remember, we know that Jake and Kira both have circus stickers. So we'll write Jake here. I'm gonna create a little bar for him. And we know that Kira also has some stickers. We're going to create a little bar for her. But we know that Kira has more stickers than Jake. So we're going to add on to our bar there. What else can I add to this little drawing to help us with our problem? Well, we know that Jake, this is represented, representing 35 stickers, right? So I could write in 35 here. What else do we know about this problem? Yeah, so we also know that Kira has 10 more. So how could I show that Kira has 10 more stickers than Jake with this drawing? So we see that if I were to, if both of Kira and Jake had the same amount, this would work, wouldn't it? Because they're both the same length, but we know that she has 10 more. So I could draw in a 10 here, representing that Kira has 10 more stickers than Jake. Okay, if I were going to well, actually, let me go back a little bit. So now that we have all this information down and we have this drawing, I wonder if you can guess what the question is that I need to ask, because you notice that this problem here doesn't have a question. So what do you think we need to figure out next? We need to figure out how many stickers Kira has, right? Because we know how many Jake has. We know that Kira has 10 more than him, but we still don't know exactly how many she has. So. We need to write an equation for this, right? So we're gonna start with our 35. We know that Kira has at least 35 stickers, but then she has 10 more, so we would add on 10 more. And if we're counting by tens, we know that 35 plus 10 more is equal to 45, right? So Kira has 45 stickers. Okay, beautiful. So I'm gonna ask you another question. What if Kira and Jake put their stickers together. How many would they have all together? What equation could I write to figure that out? Well, I first want to write, well, Kira has 45 stickers, and we're going to add them together. So then we know that Jake has his 35 stickers, right? And we need to figure out how many they have all together. How might you solve this problem? I think for just a moment. I'm gonna suggest one way. So one way that folks might do it, you might try a number line, right? So I'm gonna draw my number line here. And I'm gonna start with my 45. Now when I'm using a number line, I really like to jump with friendly numbers. And 10 is a really friendly number for me because I can count by tens really easily. So I'm gonna make jumps of 10. So I know I have at least three tens here and 35. So I'm going to do 110, 45 plus 10 more, I get to 55. And then I jump 10 more. From 55 I get to 65. Then I'm going to jump one more 10 and I land at 75. But I still have those five ones that I need to jump. So I'm going to do, actually just do a little jump of five here. And from 75 plus five more, I get 80. 
So together, Jake and Kira have 80 stickers. Well, there's another way I could do this. I could also solve this equation by adding place value, right? So we'll give this one more try. So we have 45 plus 35 is equal to, so in order to add by place value, we could start by adding our tens. So we know that four tens is also equal to 40 and three tens is also equal to 30. So 40 plus 30 is equal to 70. Now we need to add our ones together. So we have our five plus our other five, that is equal to 10. Now we need to add those two together. We need to add our tens and our ones together. So we have 70 plus 10, and that is equal to, you got it, 80. All right, so that is another way that you could solve it if you'd like. So as you're doing your worksheet today, I want you to make sure you're reading the problem carefully. You're looking for the information that you know about the problem. And you could always draw a picture to help you if that helps your brain and your image in your mind. Then you're gonna write an equation and choose a strategy to solve the problem. Okay, good luck. I can't wait to see what you come up with. See you next time.